no, 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 no. She's the walking dead. She's actually playing no, no, no. around ice bombing Sawman right now. We need to kill like four times. Because he keeps dying. There's not. He's freezing me. And then someone else just hit me in the back. This is Why are you guys oh. useless? You're the worst companions ever. Oh, there's another guy here as well. Oh, God, there's another. Alright, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to install the Skyrim Together Reborn server so your friends can connect to you and you guys can play together. There's going to be a written guide for this down in the description of the video as well as some basic troubleshooting steps if you run into issues. Starting off, you need to have the Skyrim Together Reborn mod already installed. If you need instructions on how to install the Skyrim Together Reborn mod, there'll be a link in the description for a video on how to do that. Once you have the Skyrim Together mod installed, you want to right click on your steam go to manage go to browse local files from here if your skyrim together reborn mod is properly installed you should find inside of this data folder you should find the skyrim together reborn folder navigate into there and you're going to see a skyrim together server launcher and the skyrim together launcher before we launch the skyrim together server we're going to go ahead and take a look inside the config folder at the st server config file inside of the st server config file there's a couple of basic configuration items you may want to take a look at you can turn on gold loss factor this makes it so you drop gold when you die there's a enable pvp just switch this to true if you'd like pvp on your server uh, the difficulty setting here is a one through five value with five being the hardest difficulty you can set a password here and an admin password as well as change the name of your skyrim together server or the port that it runs on after you make any configuration changes go ahead and save the config file from here we're going to go back to the skyrim together reborn directory and we're going to double click on the skyrim together server make note of this port number that pops up here when you launch the server all right next we're going to open up a browser and we're going to navigate to 192 2.168.0.1 if that address doesn't work for you it may be 192.168.1.1 but to find out for sure you can open up your command prompt and you can type in ip config forward slash space all this will show you your gateway so that's what you want to put into the browser once you're in here, go ahead and log in. All right, once you're logged in to your router, you're gonna want to find the advanced setup. Obviously, it's gonna be different for any router that you have. For the most part, they're pretty much all the same. So find the advanced settings. Go down to the port forwarding. Once you find port forwarding on your router, what you're gonna wanna do is open up a command prompt on the computer that's going to be running the server. And we're gonna wanna type IP config. This is going to show us what the IP address is of the computer that's going to be running the Skyrim together server. Make note of the IP address and we're gonna put that in this box here. Once you've got the IP address entered, you're going to match the port number that was in your Skyrim together server here. So for me, it's 10578. So 10578, ending port 10578. This, the reason that it says starting and ending port is in case you want to do a port range, but we don't need that. Protocol is TCP, but I always swap to TCP UDP. Um, and then just hit apply. This will add the port forwarding to your router. What you're going to want to do next is open up another tab and go to google.com and just simply type in what is my IP. This is going to pop up and show you your IP address here, which is the IP that you're going to want to give to your friends to connect back to your server. Next, we're going to launch Skyrim together using the instructions in the Skyrim together installation guide. Usually you will launch your Skyrim together using the Vortex application. All right, now that we're in game, we're going to push the F2 key on our keyboard and we're going to click on connect. If you're connecting to a server that is on the same computer as you, you're going to want to use localhost as the IP address to connect. If you're connecting to a server that's on a different computer in the same house as you, you're gonna wanna use the internal IP address. And as I stated before, how you get that is simply by opening a command prompt and typing ipconfig. 
and then you're gonna wanna use this IP for address here. If a friend is connecting to you, you're gonna wanna give them the IP address that we found before when we searched for what's my IP in Google. This is your external IP address. I think that about covers it. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments section. I'll try to answer as many as I can. I appreciate everybody watching. Leave me a thumbs up if you don't mind. It really helps the algorithm. There's also gonna be a written guide for how to do this down in the description of the video. So if you prefer that, please check that out. Hope you guys have a great time playing with your friends in Skyrim and we will see you in the next video.